New information tonight on the man accused of making threats against Stockbridge schools. We've learned Jonathan Tyler Burma is in jail, but not for that. Instead, he's charged with accosting a minor for immoral purposes in Livingston County. The Ingham County prosecutor decided not to file charges against Burma for his social media posts. Fox 47's Megan Heiler spoke to frustrated parents about where they go from here. Parents tell me this situation has been an ongoing nightmare, and now they plan on taking matters into their own hands. I thought, you know, implication of threats would be something taken seriously, especially when you're talking about young children. In a statement posted on Facebook, Stockbridge Police Chief Johnny Torres, Ingham County Prosecutor Carol Seaman, and School Superintendent Carl Heydrich says they find Jonathan Burma's social media posts greatly concerning and disturbing, but not legally actionable. With three kids in Stockbridge schools, Danielle Horde says that something needs to be done. As far as our school district is involved, I think their hands are tied. As far as our police department's involved, it seems like their hands are tied as well. Um, I think someone's got to go to the top. Someone's got to advocate for these kids. Like Horde, Megan Garish doesn't want to just stand by idly. It's also going to take us as a community and us as parents to band together. And we need to go above we need to go to our local government and, and see what we can do to get these laws changed and understand that there is a gap that needs to be fixed in the state of Michigan. She says she's talked about safety plans with her kids because of the ongoing problem, but still feels helpless. This day and age, you never know. That is a risk as a parent that you take on a daily basis. The best thing we can do as parents is to count, make sure that our kids know that they're loved and that we will do everything in our power to keep them safe. Now I did speak with the school superintendent and he told me that he is in the process of organizing a community forum with parents. Reporting from Stockbridge, I'm Megan Heiler, Fox 47 News. While we reach out to the Am County Prosecutor's Office, they are not commenting on the decision. We will let you know what happens with the unrelated case against Burma in Livingston County.